A very good morning to everyone. Today we have a demo on heart, the great vessels of the heart as well as how to hold the heart in anatomical position. It is a hollow muscular organ which is situated in the middle mediastinum that is within the thoracic cavity that is between the two lungs. This is right lungs. Same how we have the left lungs. Now we have to know about how to hold the heart in anatomical position. Imagine the palm is known as central uh, the tendons of the diaphragm and let's keep the heart on the central tendons of the diaphragm and this is the apex and apex should be facing towards the thumb or the index finger so that the heart will be oblique so whenever it is placed in an oblique pattern the one third of the heart lies in the right side of the median plane and again the two third on the left side of the median plane so after keeping the heart in anatomical position by keeping the apex towards the thumb or index finger the heart will be oblique so that the aorta will arise from the anterior aspect goes towards the superior aspect and again it goes towards the posterior aspect so this is how we can say that the heart is in the anatomical position now we have to know the other great vessels related with the heart so so this is known as ascending aorta so they can ask you what are the branches of ascending aorta that is right coronary and left coronary artery this is, this is known as arch of aorta with three branches this is brachiocephalic trunk which divides into right subclavian and right common carotid artery the next branch is known as the left common carotid artery and third one is known as left subclavian artery this is the infundibulum of the pulmonary trunk now this is pulmonary trunk which further divides into the right pulmonary artery and the left pulmonary artery right i am inserting the forceps here and this side we have right pulmonary artery on the left side again we have the left pulmonary artery which goes and opens into the both side of the lungs same how there are four veins that is known as superior pulmonary vein so these two are superior and the two inferior pulmonary veins so this everything arises from the left atrium of the heart can you see this one this is something known as superior vena cava and from below this is known as inferior vena cava so i'm inserting the forces from inferior to superior vena cava which opens into right atrium of heart 